What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video guys, we're going to tour some bank owned homes here in central Florida. And let me tell you guys something, touring these homes is very interesting for me because you just never know what you're going to walk into. So it makes it very fun for me. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos because I love to keep you updated with what is going on here in my market. Lastly, I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers this year in 2024. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do that. I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tours. Well, folks, we have arrived at the first property in today's video, and this home is actually located, give you a quick look at the street view. It's only about seven minutes away from Mall of Millennia, and it appears that it probably has a lot of renters in this community. There's a lot of for rent signs, so it may be a community that's uh, really desired by investors. So this may be a good property to uh, buy and, and rent out long term. Um, but it actually looks pretty good. I just took a quick tour of it and um, there's really nothing you have to do, which I think is great. It features three bedrooms and has two full baths, has a monthly HOA of $20 a month. It was built in 1998. It has 1,182 square feet of interior space. It's sitting on a 0.11 acre lot and it is currently on the market guys for $304,000. So not too bad of a price, especially in Orange County. I looked at the roof. The roof looks pretty good as well. And then also, like I said, you're only seven minutes away from Mall at Millennia, which you'll find a whole bunch of uh, great shopping and dining and stuff over there. So anyways, let's take a quick tour. Let's close the door. All right, so as we get in, it's a pretty small house, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, you have the living room space here. I'm just gonna go to this side. I do love the window and then also the under the porch area there, which I'm sure you guys seen as we walked in, but you got nice high ceiling. So it feels pretty open here. Brand new paint. Looks like the, uh, the tile was redone as well. So it smells pretty good in here. And then also just right off the front door, you'll find the access to the single car garage. Uh, you also have the washer and dryer hookups just right over there in that corner. And uh, here's a look at the full space just right there. And um, as we continue, we'll find the kitchen just to the left hand side. We'll go ahead and take a quick tour. Nice little kitchen, not, not anything too uh, you know, too grand or anything like that. But the good part is, is you do have everything you need. Uh, stainless steel appliances, you got a gas stove right there as well for all my people in New York that call me asking about gas. I uh, definitely found out that's, uh, that's what you guys prefer. So, or well, that's what you're used to. So um, anyways, microwave just right above, sink, dishwasher. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really impressed because it looks, I mean, you can just move right in. Or um, like I said, I did see a good amount of for rent signs. Ooh, that was loud. In uh, some of the homes on my way here in this community. So that's what gave me the uh, conclusion that uh, it may be something to consider if uh, you know, you're an investor or something like that and you're looking for a rental property, this may work for you. So anyways, room number one is small, but then again, what do you expect in an 1100 square foot house? Big bedrooms, probably not. But um, anyways, bedroom number one, and then we have bedroom number two just right here, which will lead out to the backyard, which um, we'll hook, go ahead and get to here in a moment. I wanna show you guys the bedrooms here first. Now uh, there's a look at the closet space. Again, decent sized bedroom, but you know, definitely not very big at all. Got our Full bath, sink, vanity, shower tub combo. Like I said, everything is ready to go too. Like it's clean and nice. All you gotta do is just close on it and go ahead and do whatever you wanna do. This would be considered the primary suite. And um, it does have the attached bath, which is, you'll go ahead and see it on the camera right here. There it is right there. There's the entry to that. And um, 
go ahead and take a quick tour for you guys. Sink, vanity, walk-in shower, nicely done with the tile. And uh, then we have the toilet just right there. And then I'm sure this is the closet space. Let me go ahead and turn a light on in here. I'm sure it's right. There it is, I feel it. All right, so there's a look at the closet. Not bad, I mean, there's a nice little house. I mean, it definitely will, will do for somebody who wants to be close to everything. And uh, you know, 300K is, uh, is pretty, uh, it's not too bad, especially here in Orange County as uh, it's one of the more expensive counties to live in here in Central Florida. So anyways, let's go check out the backyard. I thought this was very interesting because it is fully fenced, which is nice. So check. And um, then you have a really nice palm tree right there. And then a whole bunch of like, I think this is bamboo. Let me know down in the comments below. I think this is bamboo. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like there should be some pandas somewhere in this tree or something like that. But uh, it's everywhere. I mean, you got some bamboo trees over there, there. And uh, again, I'm not 100% sure, but they look like bamboo trees to me. So anyways, like I said, fully fenced backyard. And uh, yeah, so if you have a pet or something like that, at least you can accommodate uh, the pet and it won't you know, run away and whatnot like that. So uh, anyways, not a bad house at all. And um, that will be it for this tour, guys. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys, so this home is located right off of South John Young Park Way. It's actually located in the Sky Lake subdivision. And um, as you can see from around, most of these homes are older. They were built in the early 1980s and uh, mid 1980s. This one was actually built in 1985. So it has it's on a corner lot. It's a complete gut. I mean, you have to do literally everything here but um, it features four bedrooms two full baths it has 1490 square feet of interior space zero HOA um, and it's currently on the market for two hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars sitting on a 0 0.18 acre lot and it also has a pool so um, definitely has a lot of potential here especially in this area and uh, obviously we'll include some aerials within this initial shot as well so you guys can see a little bit more of the surrounding areas but overall it's in a really good location when it comes to being close to um, the parks and also orlando the airport things like that so it does have a lot of potential in my opinion so anyways let's go in and see what we got here i honestly walked in and just opened the door and then i was like you know what this is going to be a fun one so might as well just go ahead and uh, do this tour with you guys. But as we walk in, you have nice high ceilings and then boom, water damage, um, drywall damage. That's something that you can expect in this one. You're gonna need to replace the roof, AC system. There's no power. Um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wild job, but you know, a lot of people are looking for properties like this um, so that they can restore flip or, you know, even just, uh, buy and renovate and use themselves so whatever reasons they have um, there are a market of people looking for properties like this but look at this i have never seen this before in my life look at the ceilings coming down i'm not actually going to be going into this garage there's water from the roof leaking down and then obviously you can see um, the water stain right there on the floor it has a little puddle there so just want to give you guys a quick look just a regular two-car garage but uh, obviously, you know, we got a lot of issues here. So um, yeah, gonna need some uh, major repair there. But um, anyways, as we move forward, you do have tile, you have some tile, tile flooring. Um, like I said, tons of drywall damage. Let's actually just go to the left-hand side of the house first, uh, just because we're right here. I didn't really go on all these. I've never even been on this side of the house or anything yet. So all this stuff is new to me too, so. Um, as you can see, mostly everything is absolutely smoked and uh, will need a pretty good gut job. Um, the room sizes are, that one actually is pretty small, but you know, I didn't expect anything more than that just because it's only 1400 or so square feet. So 
this bedroom is actually decent size and then also you have you know decent size closet space as well um, you're gonna need new blinds i would place the windows obviously paint you got mold you're missing flooring in uh, some areas as well obviously in this room here that i'm in now you got holes in the drywall right there so um i don't know what's going on there popcorn ceilings you know it's an older home so it's going to need a lot of work and uh you definitely run into these quite a bit nowadays more and more um in today's market but the bathroom is pretty big though you got a nice size soaker tub and uh sink vanity so definitely some some room there for improvement in my opinion so anyways this should be this would be considered the primary suite so actually not too bad size not too bad of a size at all is look at the ceiling fan and then let's go ahead and check out the bathroom obviously the bathrooms are small they were tiny back in the 80s and whatnot so um, just a walk-in shower there and uh, whatnot so nothing really to see there but i do like that they have a um, door right there that will lead out to the backyard and pool space and we'll get to that here shortly but just want to go to this side first give you guys a tour show you what we got this room's big so it looks like two out of uh the three wait how many do we see one two three okay so this is two out of four two out of four this one is actually a really nice size bedroom so there uh there's that so at least we have that as a positive so two out of the four bedrooms are not too bad a size at all so anyways what do we got here oh boy anyways we got our living room and dining room so this would be the living room space the dining room would be just right through that uh, little area there we'll get to that here in a moment and uh, obviously we got some more uh, drywall damage there i do like the high ceilings though let me know what you guys think down in the comments though it does have some really got some beams and stuff like that so um i think it definitely has quite a bit of potential in my opinion especially you know if you can get it for the right price and uh you know obviously the numbers make sense so kitchen it's completely smoked it's got to go bye this kitchen has got to leave it's nothing here that you will want to keep at all and um i don't even know what's going on there i don't even want to show you guys that that seems disgusting but you know when you have a home that's just sitting here uh just taking all the elements of the weather and not being taken care of for as long as this home has this is just the outcome you get so anyways here's a look at the dining room space but uh let's go ahead and get to the backyard and pool and see what's going on back here all right so definitely could be fully fenced but look how big this pool is like it's huge very big pool i wonder what it looks like underneath that tarp It'd be very interesting but uh as far as the backyard space it's actually not bad at all this is actually the door that leads out to, uh, from the primary suite so let's go over here all right so you have some additional green space there it's fully fenced but obviously the wood fence is completely completely damaged so obviously if you just took it all the way around it looked really nice but this pool is very big so i definitely think it has a lot of potential then you got wood rot all on the edges of the trim and then you know everything like that so overall you know it's just another house that's been neglected that uh, could use some love and if somebody can I'm sure somebody's going to buy it soon um, i was told it has multiple offers but um, i'm sure somebody could really turn this into something uh, great again so anyways that will be it for this tour and let's continue the video well folks we have made it to our next home in today's video this home is actually in ocoee florida and um it's situated in the subdivision of Amarillo Point. So I'm going to give you a quick look at uh, the street view and then also the neighboring properties. Really nice area, uh, beautiful homes. A lot of people take really good care of their homes in this uh, community, as you can see. We'll also add some aerial shots um, as well so you guys can get a better picture of the surrounding area. But anyways, this house is very, very spacious. It features four bedrooms. It has three full baths. 
It has 3,608 square feet of interior space. So if you need some room, this is definitely a property that I feel you should definitely consider. You got a three car garage, as you can see, has been completely renovated from top to bottom, um, especially when it comes to the main components, brand new roof, brand new AC system. So there's literally nothing you have to do upon purchasing this home. It was built in 1996. Again, four bedrooms, three full baths, uh, 3,608 square feet of interior space. Does have a monthly HOA of $61.67 a month, sitting on a 0.27 acre lot. And it also does have a pool and pond view. So I'm excited to get in and uh, show you guys a quick tour of this property. And guys, it is currently, it's actually a new listing. It's currently on the market for $655,000. So let's go ahead and make our way in and uh, check this home out. All right. So as we close the door, uh, just the foyer is beautiful. You have the open railing that you can see uh, very clearly to the second level and um, a light fixture just right above. To the right hand side, we have a sitting room area and it's also very spacious as you can see. Nice big window there that will let in a lot of natural light. Like I said before, brand new tile flooring, everything's updated. So you got brand new paint flooring, um, carpet on the second level. There's literally nothing you have to do and everything you see here comes with the sale, including all the light fixtures and stuff like that. Um, so I think it's a pretty, uh, you know, for, I think it's a pretty good deal, uh, especially in this community, in this area. So obviously you have the stairs there that will lead up to the second level. We'll get to that um, part here shortly, but uh, let's go ahead and run through the first level of this home. Now this air, or this room here, I would consider would be more of an office or study space. Um, I do like where it's situated in the back of the home. Um, a lot of them are in the front, but um, I do like how they have the sitting room area just in front and then just right behind it, you'll find this, this room here, which would be a good office or study space. And then as we continue, we'll find the living room as well. And I also love the ceiling designs as well. It really gives it a lot of character. And then you also have a fireplace right there, as you can see. And um, then as we continue, you have a breakfast nook area. Uh, just right in front sliding glass door will lead out to the pool and backyard space which we'll get to here shortly but we're going to go ahead and uh, save that for last as we're going to go ahead and check out the kitchen just right now where we'll have granite countertops wood cabinets subway tile backsplash there's a look at the microwave oven uh, does not come with a refrigerator unfortunately so you have no fridge that's something you have to do on your own and then just to the opposite side we'll find the microwave sink and then some additional cabinet space as well. Now this is actually storage space just right under the stairs. Um, so you do have some additional storage space there. And then there's a look at the living room and then just right there, um, that is also the front door. So pantry space, as always, they're small. Can't really expect too much. Um, but moving forward, we'll go ahead and check out the first full bath. There's a sink, vanity, toilet, walk-in shower, and then you have the, the uh, door right there just behind it that will let you out to the pool and backyard. Um, the, on the opposite side, we'll find the washer and dryer area. As you see, there's a sink. And then I do love that they put a window. Well, I love that there is a window right there as well. To really brighten the space up. Then we'll go right out to the garage space where we have the three car garage. They just painted the floor as well. Um, it smells really nice in here. Obviously everything is all fresh. Then you have a brand new uh, water heater uh, as well. So anyways, I think that will do it for the first level. I don't want this tour to be too long, but this house is very big. So I'm trying to go as fast as I can with, you know, being able to show you guys this much as I can. So anyways, backyard and pool space is beautiful. Look at this pool here. And then obviously this undercover lanai space, fully uh, enclosed and screened in. And then you also have a pond view as you can see. 
little sprinkler in the middle, and then you have water features in your pool. So, I mean, for 655,000, so far this home has it all. So, anyways, let's go ahead get back inside go ahead and close the door there and let's go ahead and make our way to the second level which I think you guys will really be surprised uh, because there's so much space so anyways upstairs we go and then also the stairs I love how wide it is as well um, a lot of them are kind of narrow but I love how how wide they uh, they made the stairs so right when we get to the top we have our next full bath just right there um, next bedroom, well, first bedroom, second bedroom right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and start right in front and give you guys a look at the next full bath, shower tub combo. Then we have bedroom number one, which should be right here. And these bedrooms are massive, guys. Absolutely massive bedrooms. So if you're looking for space, like I said, this property definitely will hit the mark so got a little linen closet there then we have bedroom number two I'm gonna make sure i go right here to give you guys a good look and again very nice size bedrooms and the primary bedroom is actually just this way so i love the open railing as well let me know what you guys think about it um, but to me, it really makes it feel very open. But here we go, primary suite. Um, this area here was, is really nice because you could probably put like a little sofa or something here and uh, maybe a little uh, TV or so on the wall if you want to uh, make it a little sitting area. And then you also have, this is the actual um, bedroom space here where you're gonna go ahead and put your bedroom or your bed set. And as you can see, it's a uh, very, very nice size space. So anyways, getting to the bathroom, we'll go ahead and check out the walk-in closets. Now they're not very big. I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger, but they're not very big at all, but I guess you can figure out another way to put your stuff. But uh, other than that, we have the first sink and vanity. We should have the toilet just right behind this door here. Boom. Soaker tub, then we have the walk-in shower, nice size walk-in shower, I might add. And then we have the second sink and vanity as well. So anyways, a lot, lot of stuff going on here, a lot of good stuff. Uh, obviously you don't have every, everything in the primary suite as I thought, but then again, you know, no house is perfect. So um, you just gotta do your best and work with what you got. So anyways, we have the bonus room right here. I was really impressed when I seen this because look how big this is. Huge bonus room. If it was me, I'd put a pool table in the middle, put some chairs, put two TVs, one on that wall, one on that wall, make it like a game room slash man cave where you can watch sports and just do whatever you want to do and uh, hang out. So really nice size space as you can see uh, that you can really uh, do whatever you want and enjoy. Um, all the possibilities there. So anyways, we got our next bedroom. I believe this is that, yes, this is the fourth. So this will be the last bedroom. And this is actually the smallest. Now that I'm in here, it's pretty small. So smallest bedroom here in the house, but then again, uh, it'll work for you just perfectly anyway. So anyways, I believe that will be it for this tour guys. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are looking to buy or sell here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, my email will be down in the description below. That'll be all, and we'll see you guys in the next video.